गुड मॉर्निंग टॉप ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू लीगल मैटर्स बाय साई बाबा सुकरा ए डिग्री ड्रॉप आउट वॉज अरेस्टेड इन कृष्णा डिस्ट्रिक्ट फॉर सेंडिंग सेक्शुअली एक्सप्लिसिट मटेरियल और अटेम्प्ट टू सेंड सेक्शुअली एक्सप्लिस मटेरियल थ्रू इंटरनेट और थ्रू हिज कंप्यूटर यूजिंग कंप्यूटर एज ए रिसोर्स यू ऑल लो इट इज एन अफेंस पॉनिशेबल अंडर सेक्शन 67 of the Information Technology Act. The Superintendent of Police, Sri P. Joshua IPS, he held a press conference the day before yesterday and stated that a degree dropout was arrested for threatening women by releasing their nude videos. So definitely, it comes as an offence under Section 354D. You know that it is stacking and also cheating. as well as uh, <coughs> section 67 of the it act of course they added uh, pokso act aggravated sexual assault uh, and also scst act because she belongs to that uh, sc community so uh, we are much interested in knowing the provisions of section 67 of the information technology act before that better you know the facts of the case you will appreciate better so here the name of the accused is bimini ganesh he was a degree he is a degree dropout belonging to nagar kannur district of telangana state and he worked in different agencies like amazon flipkart i think presently he is working with flipkart of course he is techno savvy that's why whenever i describe the hackers i say that they are young people and who don't have menseria at the same time they are uh, actually intellectual intellectual personality with uh, latest updates on the information technology so such people only can resort uh, to <coughs> such uh, illegal things of course menseria nearly is absent right here they registered a case in crime number 266 by 2012 and the different sections like 354 d pokso act 67 act and scst also in a place in a ps called as gudur ps this is in krishna district not in uh, nellore district not our nellore so the allegations are that he cheated a girl and demanded her to talk in a lewd manner that in with a husky sexy voice to attract uh, the so called other side persons and uh, threatened her that he would upload her nude photos obtained by him actually this woman is also to somewhat responsible for giving her naked photos but we can't do it is suppose if you say anything it will be against to the right to privacy right so here please remember it so happened that this woman or girl she is working with a private hosting company sujivan or some name they are given she was working with the company of course she is working from uh, uh, working from home so she has to subscribe make uh, somebody subscribe for their app uh, and uh, she has to take some something like that the, her nature of job is uh, like that so she has to make get more subscribers to the particular app so somehow this boy this uh, ganesh he came across this and he promised to subscribe uh, to the app and in that connection he had held contacts with her so sometimes he said that the phone is not working properly therefore uh, she is to speak uh, from her father's phone he got her father's number also so on one day he asked her to send the nude photos first she hesitated i think later she might have sent so then he started blackmailing her and asking her to send some money i think she has sent some 5 or 6000s like that so the threatening is that since he has got the nude photos he will upload them if not he will morph some photos and he will upload them he will send to her father's number because it is known to him so afraid of all these developments because of the family prestige she has uh, given that amount ultimately she went out back with him and she has reported the matter in i think in vishakhapatnam they have disha police station one thing they have reported there so anyway so many other people so many people the names are also wonderful names but anyway since they are ladies i could not uh, disclose their name so his modus operandi that means uh, the method of 
committing the crime is the same first he will develop very good relations he will uh, speak uh, the sweet words with them and uh, normally they will fall into his trap then he will apply his plan of first taking the nude photographs then blackmail them same so likewise so many gullible women they have been trapped into him ultimately with this daring lady of gudura krishna district the entire plan has been crime has been unraveled and the person has been arrested here the important point is regarding 67 of the information technology act previously we used to apply 66a but 66a since it is held unconstitutional against uh, or uh, unconstitutional and uh, as stated in the very celebrated case of uh, Shreya Singhal versus Una Brothers 2014 and uh, incidentally one of the judges who delivered the judgment is Jasthi Chalameshwar he also hails from Karnataka, uh, Krishna district so therefore we cannot apply 66A the second one is 67 you know 67, 67A, 67B, 67C is also it is not applicable so 67 is whoever transmits whoever publishes the sexually matter explicit matter then he is liable for punishment for two years and things like that 67b it is very serious it is uh, child pornography so please remember all these sections so this is a classic case actually i have to thank uh, dsp avanagadda sri basha who with whom we work together he has taken pains and he has got the Raman report. Otherwise, uh, I do not have the crime number and other things. It just came in press. But anyway, so uh, leave, al leave along all these details. Only thing is we have to remember that if any person threatens, if any person explores uh, the nude videos, uh, then definitely he is liable for punishment under section 67 of the Information Technology Act. And friends, in this connection, please remember the case of Suhas Kati versus State of Tamil Nadu or Dr. L. Prakash versus State of Tamil Nadu who used to take the so-called nude photos and who used to upload them and get money. So if you do such things, definitely you will land in jail on one day or the other. So please read these case laws and definitely you will be enriched with the legal knowledge. Thank you very much.